Shabbat Shalom, Bam and Messiah Yeshua. Shabbat Shalom to the worldwide YouTube and social media community. This is your beloved brother, Shaul Israel, coming back again with another Yahweh inspired message. I'll be reading from the book of John, chapter 3, and starting at verse 1. The book of John, chapter 3, and start verse 1, and I read There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Yahweh. The same came to Yeshua at night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from Elohim. For no man can for no man can do these miracles that you do, except Yahweh be with him. Yeshua answered and said unto him, Very I say to you, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of Elohim. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he the second time his mother woman be born? You should sure answer, very very say to you. Except man except the man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of Elohim. I read that to say this. What Yeshua the anointed restored image and likes of Yahweh instructed us was pertain to how to be born again because Yeshua being raised up by Yahweh to be his restored image and life of himself because the first Adam sinned and when the first Adam sinned all who were born of the first Adam took on the image and likeness of the first Adam. For that cause, Yahweh had to raise up a restored image and likeness of himself, the second Adam, that those who are born of the second Adam can take on the image and likeness of the second Adam which is the image and likes of the reconciled and the redeemed man. The first Adam is unredeemed. The first Adam is disfellowship with Yahweh. The first Adam is of corruption, of transgression. Whereas the second Adam is reconciled and redeemed unto Yahweh. The second Adam is one of Yahweh and thus is enabled and has the ability to live a perfect life unto a perfected life. So in order for us to live that perfect life, that perfected life, to live that life of sinlessness, we must be born of the second Adam, Christ Jesus. And in order for us to be born of the second Adam, you must be born again as Yeshua instructed us. Verily, verily, I say to you, except the man born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot not only understand the kingdom of Yahweh. He cannot enter the kingdom of Yahweh. The kingdom of Yahweh is not limited to the kingdom of Yahweh to come. But the kingdom of Yahweh refers to the domain of Yahweh or the fellowship of Yahweh. So to understand and enter in the fellowship of Yahweh, you must be born again. And to be born again, you must be born of the water and of the spirit. But in order to be born of water and of the spirit, you must be moved to separate sorrow. Your heart must be ready to turn from transgression and to submit unto the word of Yahweh. 
that that you may be ready to be born of the water and of the spirit and to be born of the water and of the spirit points to the water baptism in the name of the Lord Jesus and the baptism of the Holy Spirit and then she evident by speaking in another tongue as Yahweh give permission to speak. This is scriptural conversion. In order to be in order to be converted unto Yahweh, you must be born again. In order to be born again, you both must be baptized in water in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach and baptized with the Holy Spirit. And the initial and historical proof that one has been baptized with the Holy Spirit is speaking in another tongue, and Abba Yahweh give permission to speak. It's written in it's written in John chapter three verse four. Nicodemus says unto you, unto him, how can a man be born when he's old? Can it just sit down into his mother's womb if he's born? Back to verse three. You sure answered and said unto him, Very very said to you, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh. Verse 5, you sure answered, very, very said to you, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. So in order to, to be born of Yahweh, to be born again, you must be born of the water and of the spirit. And to be born of the water and of the spirit, you must be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and baptized with the Holy Spirit. When Jesus Christ walked earth, he lived on earth before he suffered and died on the cross that he may purchase redemption and reconciliation with Yahweh on behalf of man. He instructed us, he preached unto us by the Spirit of Yahweh. What is required of us to enter into fellowship with Yahweh? He preached unto us by the Spirit of Yahweh the significance of his coming as the restored image and likeness of Yahweh. So the Gospels which was the spot of Yahweh to be recorded to show unto us the life of Yeshua HaMashiach, his instruction and his example is not where the example of conversion is at. But in order to have an example of scriptural conversion, you must read and understand the book of Acts. You show it in the book of John chapter 3, he struck us that in order to be born again, you must be born of water and of the spirit. But in the book of Acts, Yahweh shows us what is the new birth. What, is the, what, it does, what does it mean to be born of water and of the Spirit? Turn to the book of Acts, chapter 2. Acts chapter 2, start at verse 38. Acts chapter 2, verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the pardon of sins, 
and shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Then Peter said, and then repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the pardon of sin, and you shall receive the gift of the Seraphite Spirit. This is the new birth. You're reading the new birth right now. Acts chapter 2, verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach for the pardon of sin and you shall receive the gift of the Seraphite Spirit. Yeshua instructed us to be born of water and of the Spirit. And in the book of Acts, what Yeshua taught us was performed by those men whom he appointed to be his ambassadors of his kingdom. So to be born of the water and of the spirit is to be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and to be baptized with the Holy Spirit This is scriptural conversion. In Acts chapter 1, verse 4. Acts 1, verse 8, rather. But you shall receive power. After the says by spirits come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and unto the other parts of the arrests. Acts 2. And they were all filled with the Sapphire Spirit and began to speak with other languages as the Spirit of God gave them permission to speak. So the new birth is Acts 2.38. If you have not obeyed Acts 2.38, you are not converted. If you have not obeyed Acts 238, you are not converted. You are not of God. You have not been born of God. In order to legitimately declare that you are born of Yahweh, you have been born again, you must have repented and was baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ or in the name of the Lord Jesus or in the name of Yeshua Messiah. It must be name and title. In order to legitimately declare yourself born again, you must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, or Lord Jesus, or Yeshua Messiah. It must be done exactly as the scripture has itemized in the book of Acts. Because the book of Acts is the itself is the scriptural pattern of how one is born again. The book of Acts is the scriptural Yahweh pattern of how one is born again. If you declare to be born again, but your pattern of new birth is contrary to the pattern except for in the book of Acts, you're not born again. In order to be a member of Yahweh's family, you must be born again. To become a son and daughter of Yahweh, you must be born again. In order to live a sinless life, you must be born again. And to be born again, you must obey Acts 38. You must repent of your sin and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the pardon of sins and for the quickening of your dead nature. And you must receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit 
and that she evident by speaking in another tongue and Abigail give permission to speak. The book of Acts is the pattern of how you're born again. And if you declare yourself to be born again and your way you're born again is not found in the book of Acts, you are a liar. See, to say you're born again, but you're not born again, is to blaspheme the Holy Ghost. To say you're born again, yet you're not born again, you have blasphemed and profaned the spirit of the living El Yahweh. In order to live a sinless life, you must be born of God. In order to live a sinless life, you must be born of Yahweh. In this hour, we must be prepared and be ready for the coming judgment that will befall the United States of America. For a certain judgment is coming upon the United States of America. And when America falls, there will come the, the Antichrist to reign over a period of time for seven years to persecute the Sarah part ones. But to be ready to endure great suffering, great hardship, great persecution, you must be born again. Because through the new birth, you enter into fellowship with God. Through the new birth, you have a right and a privilege to pray and to supplicate and to intercede unto Yahweh. Through the new birth, you are preserved and guarded and have a firm, solid foundation in Yahweh where nothing will move you from that set of our foundation. You must be born again. And the new birth that you need, that y'all requires you to have, is outlined, is set forth in the book of Acts. You must be born again. To become a part of the family of Yahweh, you must be born again. And to be born again, you must Obey Acts 2.38. It's written in the book of Acts chapter 2 and 38. Then Peter said unto them, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach for the pardon of sin. You see, the purpose of the word of baptism in the name of Jesus Christ is for the pardon of sins. But the word of baptism is not exclusively for the pardon of sins. It's also for the quickening of our dead nature received from Adam. You'll find it in the book of Titus, the third chapter. Because according to Titus, the third chapter, uh, word of baptism is called the washing of regeneration. Titus chapter 3, verse 5. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Not the works of righteousness, self-righteousness, not the works of righteous, righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us. How? By the washing of regeneration. So, word of baptism in the name of of the Lord Jesus is not only for a pardon of sin, but it's also for the regeneration of our dead nature received from Adam. See, when Adam sinned, all who were born in Adam took on the image and likeness of corruption. 
Genesis chapter 5. The book of Genesis, the fifth chapter. And started at verse 3. And Adam lived in a hundred and thirty years and begat a son in his own likeness. You read that again. And Adam lived in a hundred and thirty years and begat a son in his own likeness after his image and called his name Seth. Turn to the book of Joshua. Says the same thing. The book of Joshua. Chapter 2, starting verse 1. The book of Joshua, chapter 2, verse 1. And it was in the hundred and thirty year of the life of Adam upon the arrest. They again knew Eve and wife, and she conceived and bare a son in his, in his likeness and his image. And she called his name Seth, saying, Because El has appointed me another seed in the place of Abel. For Cain has slain him. Now turn to the book of Psalms, the 51st chapter. Psalm the fifty first chapter. Psalm fifty one and starting at verse five. Because I was shaken in iniquity, and the sin that my mother conceived me. So when we were born. When we were conceived, we inherited the image and likeness of the first Adam. And the image and likeness of the first Adam was and is separate from Yahweh. Is corrupted. Is unable to walk and live in fellowship with Yahweh. That's why we need a renewed nature and a renewed spirit. That's why Yeshua, through the power of Yahweh, instituted a new birth that we may take on a renewed nature and a renewed spirit by way of the new birth. The purpose of the new birth is to give us a renewed nature and a renewed spirit. Because our first birth gave us a corrupted image and likeness. But the second birth will give us a renewed image and likeness after Yahweh. So in order to receive a, receive a renewed image and likeness, you must be born again. And if you teach against the word of baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, or in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, or in the name of the Lord Jesus, then you're teaching against receiving a renewed nature and a renewed spirit. It's a command of Yahweh that all his servants be baptized in the name of his appointed mediator. Because the name of Jesus or the name of Yeshua exalts Yahweh. As written in the book of Matthew chapter 28 Verse 19. The book of Matthew, the 28th chapter, and verse 19. I'll start at verse 18. And Yeshua came and spake unto them, 
go to verse 16. Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, into a mount where Yeshua had appointed them. And when they saw him, they reverenced him, but some doubted. And Yeshua came and spake unto, unto them, saying, All power or all authority is given unto me in Shamaim and the rest. All he says that Yahweh has made him both. King and mediator of the earth. When Yeshua said by the Spirit of Yahweh, all power is given to me uh, in Shamae and in the rest, mean that Yeshua of Nazareth was made by Yahweh to be the king and the mediator of the earth. Not that his rule had, was implemented then, for his rule won't be implemented until later. And sure came and spake unto them, saying, All powers given to me in Shamim and in the rest. Go ye therefore, go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptize them in the name of the Abba, and of the Son. And of the self by spirit. And that name that connects the title of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is Jesus or Yeshua. The name that connects Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is Jesus or Yeshua. For the name Jesus or Yeshua. Exalts Yahweh because the name Jesus or Yeshua means Yahweh is responsible for this work of salvation wrought by this man. Yahweh's salvation. So Matthew 28 19. Exalts the name Jesus or Yeshua as the name that connects the title of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Not that Yahweh has commanded us to administer the word of baptism and the titles. Because you got to be mindful that the example of the new birth and how or how to be born again is found in the book of Acts. So in Matthew 28, 19, Yeshua commanded his ambassadors to go perform way baptism. But in the book of Acts, it was performed. So the name that connects Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is Jesus or Yeshua. Because the name Jesus exalts the name Yahweh. The name Jesus exalts the Son, the second Adam. Because he was the one appointed of Yahweh to purchase redemption and reconciliation on man's behalf by the sacrifice of himself. And then Jesus exalts the spirit of Yahweh. Why? Because the same spirit that because he would give us access uh, to the throne of Yahweh that we may be brought back to fellowship with Yahweh. See, Father and Holy Spirit are titles of Yahweh. Son is the title of the second act. Thus, the name Jesus exalts Yahweh and exalts the second act. Not that there are three gods, for there's only one God, only one, but 
the name Jesus exalts Yahweh, who is responsible and the creator of the second Adam, who appoints the second Adam to not only preach and teach his word, but to purchase redemption and re reconciliation unto Yahweh that man may receive a renewed nature and a renewed spirit. So in order to be scripturally justified, you must be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. The minister or the brother must pronounce over you, I therefore baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ, or I therefore baptize you in the name of the Lord Jesus, or I therefore baptize you in the name of Yeshua. I'm here, I'm going to take you completely out of the water and bring you up out of the water. And don't forget what about to be scripturally justified. Again, I say the scriptural pattern of how one is born again is found in the book of Acts. So examine your new birth experience by the book of Acts. For the book of Acts is the scriptural pattern of how people are and were born again. If you did not repent of your sins and were baptized in water in the name of of Yeshua HaMashiach for the pardon of sin and for the quickening of the regeneration of your dead nature and did not receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit as initially evident by speaking of the tongue as I would not give permission to speak you're not born again you're not enabled, you're not given the ability to live a sinless life for only those who are born again can live a sinless life. If you're not born again, you cannot. You are unable to live a life of sinlessness. Only those who are the sons and daughters of Yahweh can live a sinless life. You must be born again. You must be born again in order to live a sinless life. In order to live in accord with the Sephardic scriptures. But in order to obey the word of Yahweh, you must be given the ability. You must be enabled by the Sephardic spirit of Yahweh to live a Sephardic life. You must be born again. You must be born again, and your new birth, it must be corresponding with the book of Acts. It must be corresponding 1% by the Sephardic Scriptures. You must be born again. Oh yeah, you must be born again. And to be born again, you must obey Acts chapter 2, verse 38. You must repent of your sin and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the pardon of sin and for the quickening of your dead nature. And you must receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit and initiate everything by speaking another tongue and have a Yahweh give the utterance. This is the word of Yahweh. Speak by the power and the guidance of the Seraphim Spirit. Many of you have not been born again. For that cause, you are pretenders. You are hypocrites. You are the tear. Who are living a life of deception. They intend to lead souls away from the straight and narrow path. You must be born again. You must be born again. Again, I say you must be born again. The book said in Matthew 28, verse 19. Go ye therefore teach our nations, baptize them, baptize them in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And that name that connects Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is Jesus. Jesus is that name 
that connects Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Why? Because Jesus exalts the name Yahweh and it exalts the second Adam. Why? Because the second Adam was the one used to purchase redemption and reconciliation by the sacrifice of himself on the cross. Father, Son, Holy Spirit is not some damn illustration of some damn trinity. Let me say that again. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is not some damn illustration of some damn trinity. If you believe in the trinity, you don't know Yahweh. If you believe in the trinity, you have blasphemed Yahweh. If you believe in the trinity, you and your trinity is hell bound. Let me say it again. If you believe in the trinity doctrine, you and your trinity is hell bound. Fuck the trinity. Let me say it again. Fuck the trinity doctrine. Fuck the trinity doctrine. And fuck every Christian that believes in the blasphemous trinity doctrine. Fuck the trinity doctrine. Fuck Christians. Fuck everyone that believes in more than one God. For God's one. If you believe in the trinity, you don't know Yahweh. So you got to repent of your falsehood. You must repent of your false doctrine. You must repent of your religion. You must repent of all sin. And you must submit yourself unto the word of Yahweh. You see, the name Jesus connects. It connects Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Why? Because the name Jesus exalts Yahweh, our great God, and exalts the second Adam. For that cause, all water baptism, for that cause, all water baptism, it must be administered, it must be performed in the name of Jesus Christ or in the name of the Lord Jesus or in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach in order to be scripturally right. In order for your word of baptism to be scripturally justified, it must be administered in the name of Jesus Christ or Lord Jesus or Yeshua HaMashiach. It must be done exactly like the scripture has it. If you have not been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ or Lord Jesus or Yeshua HaMashiach, your baptism is invalid. It's false. It's fraudulent. And it's, equivalent, it's equal to not being baptized in water. See, the purpose of the word baptism is for the pardon of your inherited sin. And it's for the pardon of those past sins compared in time past and it for the purpose of the regeneration of your dead nature it through the word baptism in the name of Jesus Christ you're given a renewed nature only through the word baptism in the name of Jesus Christ you're quickened from the dead you're quickened from that dead nature. When you're baptized in water in the name of the Lord Jesus, you're given a renewed nature. When you receive the Holy Spirit baptism, you're given a renewed spirit. Your heart is circumcised. that you may be enabled to walk and live in fellowship with our Yahweh. You must be born again. In order to become part of the family of Yahweh, you must be born again. There's no other way to be part of the family of Yahweh, you must be born again. And that new birth is only found in one location, the book of Acts. So come on back to scripture. Come on back to scripture. Forget your doubtful down and submit yourself to the word of truth. For many of you, religious people, you're not born again. And you won't be ready for the coming judgment that will fall upon the United States of America. You won't be ready for the coming great tribulation. And you definitely will not be able to make that first resurrection. 
you must be born again. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 6 teaches us God set apart this set apart. The book of Wisdom of Solomon chapter 6 verse 10 Wisdom of Solomon chapter 6 verse 10 Again, I say the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6, verse 10. Again, I say, again, I say, again, I say, again, I say, wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6, verse 10. Again, I say, wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6, verse 10. For they that God sell partners, for they that God sell partners, for they that God sell partners, sell part, to be judged, sell part. And they have learned same things to find well the answer. The book says, the book says, for they that guard Sarapartness, Sarapart, shall be judged Sarapart. So in order, be, in order to be judged holy, you must guard living holy, holy. In order to be judged holy, you must guard living holy. Living obedience obediently. You must guard set apartness, set apart, that you may be judged set apart. But only the set apart would make the first resurrection. The righteous won't make the first resurrection. Well, there's three categories of people there's the holy, there's the righteous, and there's the wicked. And the righteous and the wicked will make the second resurrection. And the, the First resurrection is only given to the holy, or only is only given to the set apart. For the book says in Revelation that twelve chapter, blessed and set apart is he that part in the first resurrection. On such the second death has no power. So we must guard set apartness, set apart. They may be judged set apart. If you want to be judged set apart, you must be, you must guard set apartness. But in order to guard set apartness, you must become set apart. How do you become set apart, Brother Shaul? You must be born again. You must become one with God. You must enter in a fellowship with the one God of creation. And to enter in a fellowship with the one God of creation, you must be born again. And to be born again, you must repent of your sin and be baptized in water in the name of the Lord Jesus for the pardon of sin and for the quickening of your dead nature. And you must receive the blessed baptism of the Holy Ghost and initiate evidence by speaking another tongue as I was going to give permission to speak. That's how you become set apart. You must become set apart that you may be able to guard set apart this set apart. Come on back to scripture. Forget about your damn religion. For your religion is leading you to the lake of fire. Forget and come out of your hell hole what you call a church. For every church in the United States of America is a low down rat infested hell hole. All Christian churches are low down, rat infested hellhole that is leading people right to the lake of fire. You got to come out of her, my people, and walk and follow the way of holiness. For the only way to Yahweh is holiness. You got to follow holiness. But follow peace with all men and holiness by which no man shall see Yahweh. In order to inherit the kingdom of Yahweh to come, you got to be holy. You got to walk holy. You got to walk holy. You got to live holy. You got to be in fellowship with holiness. For Yahweh is holiness. The book says you must guard set apart. This set apart. They mean judge set apart. That's what the book requires of you. 
set apart. And I say it to you, son of man. It's time to repent now. Repent of your sin. I mean, you must forsake your sin, your transgression of God's word. Forsake homosexuality. Forsake incest. Forsake fornication. Forsake adultery. Forsake thievery. Forsake your falsehood. Forsake your religions. Forsake everything that contradicts the word of Yahweh. And submit yourself unto the word of Yahweh by first being baptized in the name of the mediator, Jesus Christ. They may receive the pardon of sin and the quickening of their nature, and you must receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit as an issue evident by speaking out of tongue. And I will y'all give permission to speak. This is what is required of you by Abba Yahweh himself. I pray you give heed. They may receive an understanding. They may apply understanding unto yourself. They may be converted unto Yahweh. They may be able to live in fellowship with Yahweh. O oh, Yahweh, in the name of your beloved son, Yeshua HaMashiach, I thank you for giving your servant another opportunity to speak and proclaim your self-out word. Thank you for giving your servant the boldness, the patience, and the wisdom to declare your self precepts, statutes, and judgments. I beseech you more, O Yahweh, that you draw hearts and minds who you have chosen to both hear and receive your word. I pray thee grant a testimony of damnation unto every soul that you have reserved unto damnation. Concerning your separate ones, strengthen us and increase us and refine us in your wisdom, in your patience, in your joy, in your uncommon favor. Open wide your chain of blessing and will the shining upon us. They may thrive and survive in during the last new days. Guard us from every evil work or work of darkness. Fight against our enemies, O Yahweh. Continue to fight against all enemies and absence of your servant. Particularly continue to fight against all my enemies and adversaries. Both in Rockwell Police Department and Rockwell Sheriff Department, O Yahweh. Sin upon them, bastards, O Yahweh. Your grievous plagues, curses, and fire rebukes. Continually curse and plague and unleash your fire rebuke upon all my enemies and adversaries, both in Rockwell Police Department and Rockwell Sheriff Department, O Yahweh. Let your curses chase and hunt and overtake. All my enemies and adversaries, both in the police department, the sheriff department, let your curses, let your prayers, let your fire be overcome every police department, every sheriff department in the United States, O Yahweh. Break up your great judgment upon them, O Yahweh. Fight against them as a man of war, o Yahweh. Unleash your great terrors, your great and fire rebukes upon them. Continue, God, to enlarge your hearts and fill them with more and more of your word with understanding. I give your name up, glory and praise, O oh God. So be it, so be it. Remember, family, as you're able. And in any of y'all, please show support by sending a donation of any amount, either from the Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, or Zelle. We're one family in Yahweh family. Please send a donation of any amount, either from the Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, or Zelle.
guard your blood brother in your prayers. God, your blood, brother, and your prayer, supplication, intercession, family. For we went family in Yahweh. For we went um, body and Messiah Yeshua. So pray for your blood, brother, and my prayer with you. May I be able to give you a best Shabbat. Hold fast to the word of Yahweh. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.